हमारे स्मॉल एंटरप्रेनर हमारी सरकार एमएसएमई को मजबूत बनाने के लिए निरंतर प्रयास कर रही है कोरोना काल में हमने छोटे उद्यमियों को ध्यान में रखते हुए इमरजेंसी क्रेडिट गारंटी स्कीम शुरू की थी एसबीआई के अध्ययन में ये बात सामने आई है कि इस योजना से एमएसएमई सेक्टर में लगभग डेढ़ करोड़ नौकरियां सुरक्षित हुई हैं और करीब छह करोड़ लोगों की जीविका सुरक्षित हुई है इसी तरह पीएलआई स्कीम का उदाहरण भी हमारे सामने है इसके परिणाम भी देश देख रहा है भारत आज मोबाइल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग के क्षेत्र में दुनिया का उभरता हुआ केंद्र बन रहा है ऑटोमोबाइल और बैटरी के क्षेत्र में भी पीएलआई स्कीम के इसी तरह उत्साहवर्धक परिणाम मिल रहे हैं जब देश में इतने बड़े स्तर पर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग होगी तो एमएसएमई का एक नया इकोसिस्टम खड़ा होगा एमएसएमई को कई क्षेत्रों में नए ऑर्डर्स मिलेंगे नए अवसर पैदा होंगे मैं एक छोटा सा उदाहरण देता हूं आपको सिर्फ रक्षा मंत्रालय का देखिए रक्षा मंत्रालय आज उत्तर प्रदेश में और तमिलनाडु में डिफेंस कॉरिडोर विकसित कर रहा है इस बजट में हमने अड़सठ प्रतिशत सिक्सटी एट परसेंट कैपिटल प्रोक्योरमेंट जो कुछ भी खरीदी करनी है मोदी देर टॉकिंग टू बीजेपी वर्कर्स अ डे आफ्टर द बजट ऑफकोर्स हेलिंग द बजट देयर एज अ वेरी प्रोग्रेसिव बजट ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली जस्ट अ शॉर्ट वाइल बैक वी हर्ड प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी टॉकिंग अबाउट क्रिप्टो करेंसी इसेंशियली सेइंग डिजिटल करेंसी विल बी कंट्रोल्ड लाइक फिजिकल करेंसी यू विल बी एबल टू कन्वर्ट डिजिटल करेंसी टू फिजिकल करेंसी एंड दिस विल हेल्प इन ग्लोबल डिजिटल पेमेंट सो इसेंशियली हेलिंग द मूव विच हैज बीन मेड Uh, in that speech by Nirmala Sitaraman yesterday on cryptocurrency but remember there is of course still a debate a growing debate about cryptocurrency in the country as to whether or not it's actually a backdoor entry now that the government has given to this entire digital assets let's just take you through what exactly we are talking about at the moment that what did the finance minister say yesterday terming cryptocurrency as a taxable asset the central government has given a sort of backdoor entry to these digital assets in the country in a clarification in fact remember union finance minister nirmala sitaraman said that currency is only valid when it is issued by the central bank in her budget speech yesterday fm proposed 30% tax on all proceeds from digital assets including cryptocurrency and as i mentioned just a short while back uh the prime minister they are talking about digital currency and essentially saying that this will help in global digital payment on the broadcast i'm joined by mr ajit khurana a crypto expert and ms uh, ns napinai crypto expert and lawyer thank you so much for both of you to join us uh, and spare your time over this discussion that we are doing essentially asking about the fact uh, mr khurana coming to you first that this move which has been made by the government now in a way kind of giving some sort of a recognition if we call can call it that to crypto assets uh, but is this a full on move that people who are invested in cryptocurrency would see it as a move legalizing crypto assets in india or a, technically speaking how would you uh, see this or analyze this move by the fm yesterday so to begin with cryptocurrency was not illegal in india to begin with before this uh you know technically if the lawyer on the program in a moment i'm sure will give us the answer but the fact is that the sentiment in the cryptocurrency community investors businesses at present is that given the effort that has gone in given the clarifications given the modification to the income tax act people are seeing this as one step away from full blown regulations and hence a vibrant legal ecosystem of crypto in india That's right. In fact, we've also seen the Prime Minister talking about this, essentially saying, calling this a move which will help in global, uh, helpful for global digital payments as well. Uh, Miss Napina, I would you know, uh, like to come into that, uh, you know, to this discussion at this point in time, as Mr. Khurana was also saying 
that this is probably a first step that we can see and that, of course, essentially there was no law as such to govern cryptocurrency. Uh, there's still, of course, a, a, you know, we've been talking about a draft proposal for months now. Uh, but in this particular move in the budget, it has opened the doors to a large extent. What would you say? I would disagree to say that it makes no difference. You know, there is an assumption that somehow the two announcements that were made during the budget change the uh, dynamics with respect to acceptance or otherwise of crypto assets. That's not the case. The two things that have been announced is with respect to the central bank digital currency, which has always been on the anvil and now you have a deadline for it, that's all. As far as uh, the um, uh, second aspect is concerned with respect to the uh, uh, taxation aspect, even an illegal gains from an illegal business can be taxed. So therefore to assume that merely because the government has decided to tax crypto transactions, it does not give any legitimacy to the transaction. As the earlier speaker rightly pointed out, it is not like crypto was illegal before the budget session and you have to assume otherwise after. My uh, clarification is that it remains as ambiguous. The government's stand seems to have been earlier, at least in general terms, of moving to a ban with respect to privately issued cryptocurrencies. They don't stand on the same footing as a, a digital currency issued by a government. I'm making it very clear there. Therefore, there is no backdoor entry. There is no permissibility or the beginning of a new era or something like that with respect to crypto assets and its admissibility. Having said that, it's not all bleak. There is a lot of deliberation going on in terms of which way the Indian government should move. Primarily, the way I look at it is cryptocurrencies will never be allowed to perform as a payment mechanism. So it will not be on par with fiat currency, nor will it even be treated on par with, let's say, like a payment system, like a credit or debit card or a digital wallet, etc. The issue, therefore, the only small issue that remains is, will the government allow for crypto assets to be treated as securities or not? And if it will, what kind of crypto uh, assets will be permitted and what will not? Right, probably more clarity which will come through from the government over the, uh, you know, period of time. But Mr. Khurana, since you are in fact, uh, you know, following this uh, for quite some time, of course, does this give some sort of, uh, you know, a good news to, uh, you know, those who are in fact investing in cryptocurrency in the country? Does that give them some sort of buoyancy at this point in time? Because there's of course been a lot of iffiness with regard to this, uh, you know, a bit of back and forth with the government also being very tight-lipped over this entire issue, RBI flagging its concerns. Uh, with this announcement which has come in on the budget day yesterday, does this give some sort of a fillip to those who are investing on crypto in the country? Short answer is yes, but I must say that I actually agree with the Rapinai when she says that by itself this doesn't lead to the, that conclusion. True, but seen in the context of the conversations we have been having with the government, seen in the context of the fact that banning and before that criminalization of cryptocurrency was on the, on the, in discussions, today now that we are talking of things that enable it, uh, some reporting structures, some taxation structures, on the whole, it does give a fillip and a positive boost to the sentiments of people who now see that, you know, step two might introduce still more clarity. Right. We'll, of course, have to wait and see when the step two comes through uh, and what time it comes through, actually. What is the trajectory? Because even this, uh, you know, announcement which has come in, of course, is welcomed, as you said, initially, uh, if you have to look at it in a very simplistic manner. But what it actually means, the entire matter, of course, has to be, uh, you know, properly analyzed. In fact, some people, Ms. Napina, are calling this a backdoor entry to keep crypto in the country. Uh, would you agree that the government is still a little... Uh, probably not completely comfortable with the entire idea, although the Prime Minister has in fact said, as I said uh, just a short while back, very positive words over this at this point in time. And in fact, uh, obviously there is a larger plan, I'm sure, on this. But is this a sort of backdoor entry which the government has given, very reluctantly so, but now in a way uh, probably accepting the fact that, you know, there is no other way, you can't ignore it. I would really not go that far as to say that it's a backdoor entry. That's why I'm requesting investors to exercise caution. 
remember that you stand at the same level or footing as you did before the budget announcements. And uh, the only time when investors will get absolute clarity in terms of what the government stand is likely to be and to what extent will there be a ban or criminalization in terms of crypto or transactions will come out only with the regulatory framework. So we have to wait for the bill to come out. And I have been very vocal and have been advocating repeatedly that this bill has to come out at the earliest possible time. We have been dragging our feet from 2013. And when I say we, I mean the Indian uh, uh, legal framework has uh, dragged its feet from 2013 and we are in 2022. From a few transactions, a few investors, we have now grown to millions. And it is not right for uh, the uh, Indian citizenry to continue to live in ambiguity or in fear of uh, a negative uh, step later, whichever way the government may decide to go. And my uh, take in terms of the specific regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies per se is not that it is not likely to be as black and white as many crypto enthusiasts uh, hope or believe it to be. It is likely to be a very complex uh, uh, legal or regulatory framework, but whatever it is, good, bad, or ugly, my earnest request is that it should come out at the earliest possible time. Right. Uh, in fact, this is probably a discussion we'll have over the next few weeks as well as to what it means in order to analyze it further. Mr. Ajit Khurana, Ms. Napi Nain, thank you so much for joining us on this particular discussion today that we're having a day after the budget where there seems to be some sort of a leeway now. It's some sort of an uh, acceptance now by the government that they cannot deny or ignore this any further. But of course, further modalities of what exactly it means for crypto investors in the country, that will have to be worked out in the weeks to come. Thank you so much for joining us in this discussion. And that, with that, we'll slip into a short break.